I swear I'm a writer. <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia. Welcome to another writing update. So, some things have changed. Things have gotten worse since you last spoke. <laughs> I have some things to talk to you guys about. Number one being queries, and number two being my second book. So, lots of exciting things. Lots of not fun things, but also lots of exciting things. So, let's start off with queries. Queries are your pitches, your selling yourself, your book, just your book, um, <laughs> you're selling your soul to your agent. Um, no, they're your pitch to an agent saying, hey, please represent my book. It's so good. Don't you think so? And I queried a total of, I queried a total of seven different people and here are my stats. So three people have rejected me. It happens. It's okay. Three people I am still waiting on hearing back from my original query and or first few chapters synopsis, those things. And then one person I'm waiting to hear back on a full manuscript. So let's start out with the rejections. Rejections came very fast. <laughs> they came instantaneously. <laughs> I laugh about it because it really doesn't bug me. So like dealing with like rejection is like not that big of a deal right now for me. Like we'll check back in like a month or two and then we'll be like <laughs> crying. But <laughs> right now I'm okay with it. Like I said, I got my first rejection a couple hours after submitting my first query, which is like, did you read it? <laughs> like, did you actually like read it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what people's processes are for how they whittle down their probably uh, humongous workload of wannabe authors. But that was what the first one came in and then they slowly kind of trickled in. So yeah, I'm at three rejections right now. So three out of seven have been rejections, which is not that bad. My other three I am waiting on hearing back from and they are all ones that I queried four weeks ago. So as I'm filming this, <laughs> so um, about a month has gone by since they've had my queries and those are just kind of like up in the air. I'm just kind of waiting. I made originally a list, I think I told you about, of about like 15 people and then I I kind of had to get rid of people that were not looking for queries or not looking for my specific genre or age category or not open queries like they are by by request that's not the word or they like want to like have you know someone that they have worked with or something like that and so like that slowly got whittled down and then it was like the ones I could do right away I wrote my first synopsis which I didn't know I had to do and I didn't know what it was <laughs> so that was really funny because I had a query and I had chapters, <laughs> but I didn't have a synopsis and I didn't know, learn what it was until the one agent that I'm actually waiting on hearing back from a full about asked me for that and I like looked it up and I was like, oh, it's like a whole nother thing. <laughs> so learned how to write a synopsis, did lots of Googling and searching and uh, whittling down um, the word count, but I did that. So now I have actually a synopsis if anyone needs it, which I think I ended up having to submit another one for one of the queries I'm waiting back on. So then we have the one, then we have the one agent who who I originally queried and they said, hey, we like this and we would like, we, <laughs> we would like the full manuscript. So as I'm filming this, it has been five weeks, a little more than five weeks since they've had the full manuscript and it took them three weeks to respond to the query. So that's just my stats for you. I'm waiting to hear back on that one. They could give me either three options. Um, one would be a rejection, which as we know, I've already had, <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, the second is a revise and resubmit, which just means like here are X and Y changes that you should make to your draft or your manuscript. And we invite you to like resubmit again and then maybe you'll get approved. That's not the word. <laughs> like the obvious like golden answer is like, hey, we want you, we like this. Let's work together. Let's cut a deal. <laughs> So those are the three options. I'm still waiting to hear back. I haven't really, you guys are the first people I'm telling, but I haven't made this knowledge like public. It's exciting. Things are moving forward. Things are up in the air still, definitely. But yeah, I mean, like at least I have a good query letter. Like I know someone could like my query letter. So that's very nice to know. So that's kind of the query side of things. That book, like I have so many things I already want to change, which I hopefully like in I don't know when I'm gonna do them but like there are things that I'm like oh like I, I really should add that <laughs> it's done like it's done like it's very much done but like I could add anyway not important right now yeah book one is over there you guys know it's called STM um well it's not called that but those are its initials STM it's been down for a minute since I submitted the full I haven't really looked at it uh, but I have thought about it but <laughs> that is to my own detriment so that project is set aside for now it's in the querying phase and we shall see what happens in the coming times <laughs> And then we have what I think I previously called BWL. It's no longer called that. It's called something else now, 
but should we, for clarity's sake, call it BWL? We'll keep calling it BWL because it's just easier. So BWL is my two perspective YA contemporary story that is set up for the summer. That is all the information that I have given you thus far. I haven't given you a lot because I haven't written it yet, but that's the thing. So I have decided that in, in May, I will take all of May to kind of do like how I wrote STM, which is do a kind of NaNoWriMo where I write the first draft from start to finish uh, in the month. <laughs> so that worked out really well for how I fast draft. And I had a lot of things planned out for that draft. If you haven't seen that video, I literally do an update every day. So <laughs> I tell you how that's going. For BWL, I now, since it's April, not May, I have to spend a lot of time, I'm stressed, I've just spent a lot of time uh, planning and outlining this book because I have notes, I have a couple pages of notes, but I am a really big planner and I already know that that works for me. Like I already like can successfully say that I have completed a book with ingredients <laughs> with the same plan. So I know that I can do it that way and I don't wanna try something new. <laughs> I don't wanna just be like, well, let's see what happens. Like I already know that doesn't work for me. So I know it works and I need to just like sit down and do my beat sheet. I need to do my outline. I need to do all of that. My beat sheet is like my holy grail. I think I've talked about this before, but um, I studied um, screenwriting. I was supposed to be doing that for my degree at one point. It's no longer part of my degree, but still, I carry forth a lot of the skills I learned in screenwriting and one is a beat sheet where it's literally a bulleted breakdown of the beats beat by beat of a scene and I had that for the entire book of STM and it was super helpful and I already know how I want to color code this one <laughs> and since it has two perspectives it's gonna be super helpful and I just like I want to write it so bad I have like such a big Pinterest board <laughs> for this book and I'm obsessed like I'm obsessed with the book I think it's so good <laughs> I'm so excited to write it. I just have to do the like nitty-gritty stuff which is not that fun but also like it is what it is I would be doing vlogs for how I am outlining and planning it but I want to get this video up and not like wait too long on it because then I will have a full video after uh, the month of May is over of um, basically like what I did um, last June when I wrote STM, which is just like updating you every day of vlog, maybe not every day, <laughs> but updating you um, as I'm writing and, and keeping up with me as I'm writing uh, the book over the course of a month. So I'm gonna be doing that video. So I'm not gonna do another vlog in the interim just because I think that's annoying <laughs> and I and I don't want to like overload you with content. Yeah, I am like so excited. Like I even started my playlist for this book. I have my Pinterest board all done. I just need to write it. You know, I just need to write it. <laughs> that's the next step. The next big thing, the thing for April is waiting on queries, obviously, but planning out, outlining the heck out of my next book so that I can go into May feeling like I can accomplish it. May is like when my school ends. So like I'll have finals that first week. So that's gonna be a little bit rough for me. But after that, it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be smooth sailing. And let's keep in mind, I wrote STM in three weeks. <laughs> I didn't even take all of June to write it. So I have pretty high confidence going into writing another book, especially with more free time on my hands. And I think I'm just like really, I'm not only like really excited to write my story, but like, especially just to have like time to do it. You know what I mean? I'm in a current like swamp of schoolwork right now as the the season, the semester is ramping, ramping up and ramping down. It's closing, it's ending, but it's ramping up. <laughs> anyway, I swear I'm a writer, <laughs> it's okay. I think those are all my updates. I decided not to do the sequel to SEM because I just don't know if it's a story I need to tell. And also I don't have it as planned out as I do BWL, so I'm going with that one. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> I feel like I've talked a lot. So my projected timeline for my next book, BWL, is to draft in May, take June off, and then in July and August, work on my second draft slash rewrite slash first rewrite, as I will be away. <laughs> abroad. I'm just a traveling girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then probably doing like either like October, November working on draft three or like November, December. I'm basically going to try to replicate how I did STM because that was like very successful for me because I have like an entirely like completed full manuscript in less, like I'd finished that in less than a year. So like if I can just like repeat that process, <laughs> I think we'll be great. And that was like literally slower than I anticipated. So, but that's like the projected timeline right now. Obviously things are gonna come up, things are gonna change. And if like things move forward more with like STM, then 
we might have to put down BWO. So we shall see. I will keep you updated, of course. If I have any other big updates, I will be sure to post them on social media, uh, probably more quickly than doing a full video. Um, but of course I will have um, some more writing updates and writing vlogs coming very soon in the future as I continue to write and uh, vlog it. So yeah, that's all. Let me know, of course, how your writing is going, what you're working on, where you're at um, in the process or what you're planning on doing. I would love to know. And yeah, that's about all I've got. So that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to all the things and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.